This is the second video in the series on deduplication using EndNote. As described earlier, the first phase of deduplication is selected only once when you start using the method. It consists of changing the settings of your EndNote installation. Two settings will ease the deduplication method. First, adding page numbers to the table with references in your library will help you compare duplicates easily in the table view. If you go to Edit, Preferences, and then to display fields, you can select the fields that you want to show in your table view. And we recommend that one of the fields will be the page number. So in one of the higher numbered columns, you select pages and click OK. The second setting you can change is downloading custom import filters and output styles into your EndNote. For that I have created a website wishore.nl slash EndNote. If you click on that link, you will be redirected to a page where there is a link to download custom EndNote filters and styles. If you click on that, there will be a zip file which contains many useful import filters and output styles. To install these filters that you need, you open the zip file. You see a folder of import filters and output styles. Let's choose one import filter that we will all need. And the import filter will import corrected pages. To install any of these filters or output styles that you want to use further in the process, you double click on this, on this filter. And it will open EndNote. To save this filter in your EndNote installation, all you have to do is you click File, Save As. I recommend that you remove the part Copy behind the name. You click Save, and this filter is then stored in your EndNote installation. If you close EndNote, if you close the filter, EndNote is now used. The zip file will contain many import filters and output styles that you do not need in the process, but all the import filters that you might find further in the process that you can be used, uh, you can find in the zip file. I recommend if you find a filter that you do not have in your current installation that you use the zip file to find that filter. 